I think it's, I mean, I think 2014 is going to be a very interesting year. You know, there's the uprise of native, there's the uprise of content marketing. Um, you know, we're, we've been very well positioned over the past 10 years. We've very much built our business around content marketing, which is somewhat of an in vogue, you know, statement today. Um, but I think, you know, what's important is this gradual shift that we've seen with marketers, you know, back in the day we're driving people online, right? They wanted to drive traffic and have that sort of one-one connection, you know, by driving traffic online and building, building their business that way. Um, and the goals have changed for marketers. You know, it's less about sort of that one-stop shop click. It's about, you know, expanding um, upon more of a relationship with your consumer, you know, a deep relationship that's more of a romantic side to really engage the user. And that's a definite shift in how people are uh, looking at their brand budgets and their brand objectives. Uh, on the product side, you know, a lot of our products are trigger points within words and images. So we're in the mainstream of the user. Um, and relevancy is key. So building products that are very relevant, not just for advertising, but also for good content, relevant content. So I mean, that's sort of one component of it. But also building placements that are non-intrusive, um, that the user has control over. You know, all of these really are key in making sort of that content marketing solution stronger. And, you know, I think with content ma um, marketing right now and uh, ad content, it's re technology has really opened up the door. You have, you know, you have obviously, um, you have sharing, you have uh, components around images and video, social feeds. Uh, I've done a great job in really paving the path for content marketing. As long as it's done well with relevancy, you know, non-intrusive, you know, um, those are the, the key elements. So I think, you know, those are really big foundations that are changing how marketers really look at how they can talk to their consumer and really bring together a deeper relationship. And I think that's what's really key for this year and going forward. Um, I think thirdly, you know, you've got, it's got to be done in a way that's meaningful. So, you know, we talk about, you know, brand voice and brand stories are very key in this. But marketers that are able to put content in a position where they can actually you know, tell a really great story, or really connect with the user, but also inspire, educate, entertain the user. And we talk a lot about real-time marketing. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of real-time marketing. But I think there's a balance between that. It's not just getting things out immediately, but it's balancing it with um, relevancy or real-time relevancy. Video, for, from our perspective, is, you know, we, we, look, we look at our business, you know, we like to have an experience where the user is connecting and they're putting their hand up as a signal saying, I really want to engage in this message from a brand marketer. So the placements are all built upon a foundation whereby words and images are being trigger points, the user has control, and only when they're qualified will they see the video. So we've seen really good uh, feedback on, you know, just insights on our video solutions. You know, with uh, pre-roll and with what we do on our CPE side, uh, we're very comparable within, within those sort of measurements. If you see the word, okay, you're reading an article, the article's, uh, you're, you're coming to Vegas, right? And you see a hotel. So you scroll over the word hotels. It's high lit to give a signal, but there's an engagement to make sure that you really qualify and the notification is really on board. So in doing so, it then creates a whole brand canvas experience. And then you can look at Mandolin Bay, you can see the rooms, you can then you know, see the events, see the opportunities, but it's really taking over the whole experience in a video format. And the user can opt in or opt out, but really consume the information you know, in real time with relevancy um, and very much uh, relevant to what they're looking for. I mean, how pervasive is video in the vibrant uh, platform, would you say? Oh, I think it's very much so. And it's more about, you know, how much time they're spending with the video, yeah. right? How much time they're, you know, it's not about, you know, it's not forcing the video to happen. It's when they want it to happen, but measuring their dwell time, measuring their interaction rates. Those are key components for video. And you'll see more of that from vibrant going forward.